Visualizing data is important for scientists since it allows us to see patterns, to, to communicate our ideas to others, to get other people excited about science. When you start to share your visualizations with other people, thinking about how you can make them as standalone as, as possible is really good. Your people are basically lazy and they're not going to read the caption, they're not going to read all the beautiful text you've written. So the more you can kind of put directly on the visualization to help people understand it, the better. When you start talking about creating illustrations for more broad communication, other factors come into play. So, you know, a little bit of dramatic elements, um, often human emotion comes into play. Obviously, if you're going to publish in a scientific journal, it's really important to be accurate because you're trying to communicate with your peers. If you're on like the front page of the New York Times, it's probably more important to like engage people and get people interested. I first talk at pretty, a pretty good length with collaborators. Um, we actually we draw a storyboard, we record narration, uh, and then we go into the modeling and animation process. So if I'm looking at a complex uh, multivariable relationship, I'll always start by looking at the individual variables. So to make sure that you understand what's going on at a low level before you try and do something more complex. First you filter the data to find exactly what you need, then you map, and map might be working out how the, the data corresponds to the, the, the spatial layout of the visualization. And then render is how you then encode the change or the signal on that map that you have created. We always try to put too much information in, and we often don't think about what needs to be removed to keep, keep the message as concise and impactful as possible. It's more important to get people excited about what you're trying to show them than to convey every last detail 100% correctly. I think there are a number of tools out there that you can use to look at different types of data, uh, multi-dimensional data and the like. Having visualizations that are done in Keynote or PowerPoint can be just as good, as long as you know they're useful. Graphics programs such as uh, the Adobe Illustrator Suite, and that enable, they, these enable us to do create quite, quite a, a wide range of things. The number one tool I use to create visualizations is a software program called R. It's a programming language and an environment for interactive data science and data analysis. Uh, I use uh, the, one of the tools that I built called ggplot2, uh, which is a tool that provides a grammar of graphics that lets you define new visualizations by describing how you want to map variables in your data to things that you can perceive like color and shape and size.